Well, twice a year, Crow and County auctions off tax forfeited land. The auctions have become an important part of the Crow and County economy, adding thousands of dollars each year. Our Logan Gay has more on their last auction of this year. When it comes to auctioning off tax forfeited land, Crow and County has it down to a science. It's those tracts of land that are, you know, um, individual residential tracts or small isolated tracts that are, you know, really um, don't have good access and would really seem to be better suited to be in the in private ownership, the public ownership. Those are the ones that we really try to focus on and, and try to sell those. The county auctioned off 34 properties at their latest auction from all over Cromie County. It was a little bit be a little more intentional about selecting the tracts that we think that the public is going to be more interested in instead of just kind of blank, just throwing out this huge number. The money that is raised through these auctions go to beautifying the county and to help local cities and school districts. The excess revenues that come from uh, like the sale of this land does go back and it helps out local cities and townships, school districts, and a portion does go to the county too um, to help do uh, work around the county. So and that's all money that's not you know um, tax based. That's all um, people from wanting to purchase this land and wanting to put it back into uh, you know back into private ownership. Gary Henriksen was the highest bidder of the day. It was his first time attending the auction but he said he had an enjoyable time it was fun it was actually fun it was it's what we expected but uh, Crow Wing County's always it's run and managed so well we knew it would be smooth low-key easy to understand easy to work altogether the auction made over one hundred forty five thousand dollars for the county and Brainerd Logan Gay Lakeland News and all the land that was not sold at the auction is still available for sale at any time over the counter in the land services building in Crow Wing County if you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.